Hi, greeting to you. I'm Chipping from Penang Global Application Engineering Team. Today, I would like to show how to implement the variable size FFT operation with the unified FFT Intel FPGA with 16 bits input and output width. By end of this video, you will understand how to perform functional simulation for FFT operation with unified FFT FPGA IP with 16 bits input and output width. In this video, I will use Intel Cortex Prime version 20.3 and Model Sim Intel FPGA Edition 2020.3. We will generate example design from the IP and perform customization to facilitate the demo. This page shows the instances in the design, FFT, test factor, control and clock generation logic. In the simulation, the test bench reads the test factor from input STM file and feeds into the FFT. The FFT output is printed out in the STM file as well to ease the data analysis. This page shows the IP configuration of the variable size FFT Intel FPGA IP. The sizes are configured to be 512 and 1K. The data type is fixed point. The input and output width of the FFT is configured to be 16 bits using the prune to width scheme. Note that this scheme is heavy pruning and you should expect that the output is of significantly reduced magnitude as compared to full word growth scheme. If you would like to instantiate an IFFT, you can enable this static option during IP configuration. You cannot switch between FFT and IFFT on the fly in user mode. Now, let's proceed to example design customization. The example design is generated together with the HDL generation. Open the model sim underscore files dot TCL inside the common folder. Edit the compilation library to work. Go to the sim folder under Intel FPGA Unify VFFT underscore 10 and look for the test bench with name underscore atv.vhd. Add the codes highlighted in red to the test bench. Open the msim underscore setup.tickle in the mentor folder. Change the top level to the test bench. Open model sim and change the directory to the sim slash mentor folder. In the tickle console, type source msim setup.tickle and then type ld to start the compilation. Type run all to start the simulation. After the simulation is completed, you can open the printed output.stm file. There are five elements in each row of the stm file. The first element is referring to output valid. The output value is valid only when this element equals 1. The second element is the channel out which is not used in this simulation. You can safely ignore it. The third element is the size of the current FFT. In this case, the size is 512 which is also 2 to a power of 9. The last two elements are the real output and imaginary output. The input STM file on the left is also having similar format. With the input FFT consists of all 32767, the result in the output STM file is expected. You can also cross-check the output result with C model simulation. In summary, this video shows how to implement the variable size FFT operation with the unified FFT Intel FPGA IP with 16 bits input and output width. Thank you for watching this video. 